Hi everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine how to video. This is part of my UMG UI series. In this video, we're going to cover how to do animations with widgets. Here, I have a simple setup where I hit the play button and image text would splash on the screen. So that simple animation, we're going to learn how to build that. Let's go. Starting off with a third person template, open the content drawer and let's right click, create a new folder called main. And let's create a couple of folders. So first is the UI and right click again and say assets. So I created a couple of images in Photoshop. If you want to use them, I'll drop a link in the description below. So once those are imported, let's go back to the UI folder we created, right click and select user interface and widget blueprint. Select user widget and give it a name. So I'm just going to call this WB ready and open that up. Let me talk that like so. So first we want to add the canvas panel. Zoom a little bit and let's add the image. So first image, I'm going to call this ready and we want to anchor this. So in the middle and change that to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and the image size is 800 by 368. And under the image here, I'm going to click on that and search for the ready and that should um, show my image in the middle. So I'm just going to compile that. Okay, next I'm going to quickly duplicate this and rename this to go and anchor it in the middle as well and change the image to go. Cool. For this particular go image, I want the opacity changed to zero. So I don't want it to be showing immediately. So change that to zero. Now to do the actual animation, click on the animate animations um, button there at the bottom. Then click on animation here, give it a name. Then shift select and then click on animations here, click on that, click on track, then you can see both those options. So add the ready first and then add the go next. So here you have some options uh, for actions, for visibility on what you want to see on the screen and some playback options. So this is basically the same as the buttons here at the bottom. And here is for the interpolation and how the animation would work. And here's when you change something, uh, it would automatically create a keyframe for you. And here is the um, snapping and then the FPS as well. So you could change the FPS to whatever you like. And here is the graph. You want to change the curve for the interpolation. Cool. So let's jump into the ready section here. Click on track. And here are the options that you could animate. So we want to animate the transform. So under here, expand that. These are the other areas in the transform area that you could change. So I want to change the scale. So make sure you're in the starting point of zero. Click on here to add a keyframe and probably 0.15. I want to change this to 1.25 and also do it for the Y. And that would expand the text a little bit and around 0.25 change it back to 1 and similarly you change it back to one. So as you can see, sometimes it would, as you could see, it added the keyframe for me automatically because now I'm changing it. Um, next, around probably 0.40, I'm gonna add the color and opacity. And this time I wanna change the opacity to zero. So let's, ah. Uh, probably here in this section add a keyframe and make sure this is one so starting from here it's visible visible and then it's going to start to fade out cool and probably around 0.50 you can start animating the go so here i want to add the color and opacity because we initially set it to zero so add a keyframe there and 0.60 put it back in the screen 
and then 0.70 you know and add the transform so probably back here in after shows add the scale and then move it to the next timeline and change it to 1.25 same for here 1.25 Cool, and 0.80, add a few more keyframes and change this to one. And finally, 0.95, back at the opacity here, uh, change the alpha probably here, go back to 0.80, and from there, change the alpha back to zero. So in scrub that that this how it looks like. Now let's jump let's compile save this jump back to our third person map. So how do we add it here? So to add it, just go to the event level blueprint here. Say event begin play. Then say create widget. Select the class that we created. Double ready and here. You're gonna say add to viewport and if I go back to here and go to the event graph you would see that I have this ready animation variable here so we could call that from here and say get ready animation cool and from here we could hook it up say play animation Hook that up. We also need to set the target. So from here to there, put some reroute node. Cool. So compile, save, and then let's play that up. Cool. There you go. So hope to learn something from this video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel. Cheers. Bye for now.